Hello, so we're going to be doing Trisha and Moses and what they bring to the table and what they should know. So I will keep these two after I'm done with this and then if I need any more information after this then I'll pull for that. So Trisha has Lake and says Stillness. So what she brings to the table is... I think this is stillness within his mind. Maybe he's someone who thinks a lot or worries a lot and she distracts him or calms him down. She's a really colorful person to him. He finds her intriguing and a little bit mysterious. He doesn't know what to expect around the corner with her. He finds her adventurous and alluring. What she bring, or I'm sorry, what he brings to the table, he received fairies. So to her, I feel like he thinks that she, he, why am I mixing them up? So with him, Trisha feels like Moses is like magical and really encourages her to connect more with herself with a higher power she's more illuminated with him I feel like either one of them or both of them were in a dark place and they pulled the other person out of it and were able to see the lighter things in life and to kind of like just be a little bit more happy. How they come together is Dawn which says new beginnings so that already indicates that they are going to be in this relationship for quite a while. This is a start of something new for both of them. I think at first they didn't think that it was going to last. They didn't think that they would get along as well as they do. So it's kind of been a surprise for both of them because you know, it's like, maybe you wanted it to last, maybe you wanted it to work out, but you weren't completely sure, and you're actually really surprised at how well you get along, is kind of what I'm seeing. And I think they make each other really happy and encourage each other to grow as individuals, so any sort of like restraints like self-restraints that they had or any sort of belief systems that they had are breaking apart and they're just becoming better. I think some parts of it is a little foreign for them but they're welcoming it with open arms so they come together really well. What they should know is ceremony. Now we could take this in the sense in two different ways. We could take this in the cards meaning which is basically like you're drifting away from your belief system like from spirit itself like from God and this is an indication that you need to rein it back in a little bit or a lot of it <laughs> and really connect again with God but I am actually taking this in the sense that maybe this is a wedding maybe this is something that they might be heading towards is an actual long-lasting relationship where they're getting married I think there's some surprises going on in the background. I also feel like maybe there are some people who are not wanting them to be together, maybe scheming to break them apart. There's a lot of stuff in the background that 
they're aware of and also unaware of as far as what people want for them that they should be cautious about. So let's look at these two cards. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Take small steps to diminish your worrying. No, it's going to be okay. And so it is. And the best is yet to be. Good things have happened, but even better things will be presented in the future. So... I think whatever they're talking about amongst each other or in private, they're manifesting. So whatever it is that they truly want is happening. And I feel like Trish is becoming more vulnerable than she ever has been in a relationship before. She's really opening up with him more than she ever has with any other person. This is a really beautiful and magical card to me. The best is yet to be. And again with a violin to me that's like wedding music, you know? Like it's not necessarily wedding bells, but it is a violin. Um, so it is romantic. And so I think like regardless of how this relationship ends up, it's going to end up um, really how, how you want it. I'm talking to you, Trisha and Moses, like with a self-fulfilling prophecy and the best is yet to be like, no matter what happens, like whether you guys separate, whatever you've learned, like this is going to take you to that next step that you've always been like wanting. Um, but this looks like a marriage to me. Let me pull one more. Light of hope. Hope gives us positive feelings and energy to accomplish what we desire. So this is like believing in your future. And it's almost a repetition of the best is yet to be. So it's like no matter what, like just like how in here it seems like there's storm clouds. It's like no matter what's going on and what troubles that you have like as long as you keep moving forward and you have the best intentions and you continue to work on yourself in order to like like let's say that you have you're you're comfortable in reacting a certain way that you've always reacted and then you look at it and you're like, is that necessarily the right thing to do? Like, maybe I'm just comfortable in doing that because this is how I grew up. This is what I was taught. This is like an ancestral pattern, you know, like my mom and my grandma, like they've, or my dad or whoever, like they've always treated them that way. And then on and on and on, you get what I'm saying. So you end up changing your behavior and you're growing out of it. So to me, it's like, Sorry if I keep saying that, I don't know. Um, like, just hold out hope that, like, everything's unfolding just the way that it should. And I'm still fixated on the wedding because it does seem like there's a wedding in the future. Um, yeah, so this indicates everything good everything's great with them this is a real like real deal with them whether or not it's like they see that with each other like I don't know because I don't really not really I like don't watch them at all lately um, I'll have to catch up on it I just haven't had time but this really does indicate that there's something really serious and deep and spiritual going on with them